What's up guys, last section of our video series here on replay and how to use it to make your own landing pages. So in this final section, we're gonna go into something even deeper, which is how to create product pages with certain drop downs and tabs and stuff like that. That is a little bit more advanced, I would say. Uh, hide things that you don't want people to access unless they click on it. Uh, these things are really important and that's what you would need if you would have a product on your page and you would need to display certain things you would need to have variations maybe different colors maybe different flavors so we'll dive into a little bit on how you you can actually do that once you have this then you'll understand everything you really need in order to use repo and remember you can use your components you can use your library you can use templates so you don't need to do things from scratch this is really really important and you can build pages based on the systems that i teach you throughout the videos how to find the right awareness level complexity level and then mirror up against brands that match the same product you have then use that template instead of starting from scratch obviously you will redesign it with your own uh, colors images products and all that stuff that is the gateway to creating a really, really great landing page with less work. Right. So let's dive straight into it. Last section here, home stretch. I know it's been a long series, but I think it's really important you understand that. So I'm gonna go straight into the library again, just what I told you, then to product. And once you get into products, you can see so many different product components you can use um, depending on your product um, complexity level, you know flavors variants all this different stuff so pick the one that actually makes sense you can also do bundles and you can do whatever you really want here you can see here is a bundle of three different options uh you can do anything you really want here um i really love it we're going to be using uh this one over here but look at this that's a bundle right there that looks awesome as well you know that's often the way to get people to buy more. There's so many awesome things. Everything's styled. You just need to hook it up with your own Shopify store, replace the product, and you're good to go, right? I'm gonna pick this one that's just to show you, because uh, what I will be showing you is how to click on details and how to use all these different things, and it will display different information, so hiding things in a table and all this stuff. I think that's quite useful um, because uh, customizing this, if you don't know what you're doing, I mean, you're going to break your page. So I'm just going to teach you that as the last module here. So we're going to start styling as we are always doing it, changing some colors, configuring it. Um, this product you're seeing here is just a, um, a replo template. Uh, but if you want to use it again for your own store, you're going to online store after you have installed replo inside of Shopify and connected it to the app, you can find all your products here. They will all come down. You can use a template uh, template or a placeholder if you don't have it, which is what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna add in a product and now instantly it will replace uh, the coffee product right here. And that just makes it a little bit easier to work with because it's um, uh, obviously you will wanna tailor it to what it is you're, be, you're working with. Um, so yeah, images, we wanna replace the image afterwards. Remember what I just did now was connected to the right product. Now I need to also, because I'm using a placeholder, change the image and change the thumbnails and everything under. You're getting the thumbnails under here because we're using the template uh, and that template came with thumbnails. So I just copied out more thumbnails, but then you could add in as many as you want. And the functionality that is already built in here is that when you click any of the thumbnails, it will show up and change the main hero image here as well. Uh, so we're changing the image. Uh, we're gonna use the carousel, uh, which is the module we're using here because we have all the thumbnails and all that stuff so basically when you click here uh, it will switch it out like a carousel up here so it looks really cool so here i can see oh by the way i'm going to move my face so you can actually see what it is we're doing here uh we're adding in uh the dynamic um property here and we are adding in the image source when I use dynamic property, it means that I'm actually uh, making it everything dynamic so it will load automatically and use all the variants of that product um, of that product there. So if all other images exist for this product, it will automatically load all of them here. So that's really cool instead of having to manually add every one of them. So in your Shopify store, when you upload this and you have a product, you probably have like, let's say six images. And when you add in the dynamic, um, functionality for it it will automatically load all six here so just saving you a bunch of time so that's really cool and then 
uh, again, these are the things that I tend to skip over a little bit, but we're customizing, we're making the images the right size, adjusting to the right width, to the right height, uh, and that is something you might have to do in order for it to look good. So I'm uh, basically uh, marking up all the images here, and right now it's still the, uh, not the right size, but here you can see I'm fixing all that using the columns, using the, the right layout. It looks a little bit messy now, but once you get into it, uh, that's what you will see. And by the way, if you're not familiar with this, I'm rec I have recorded me working with it, and then I'm commenting over it again, just to speed things up, because otherwise it tend to take forever. Uh, all right, so we got everything. It looks quite good now. Um, we use the dynamic option to load all variant images of this main product, which makes it look much nicer. And then we just style it a little bit. And you can see here the functionality. If I click it, it goes like a carousel. So it's really cool. But, but I got this functionality for free because it was part of the template I was using. Otherwise, I would have to write in the product functionality myself, which can be a little bit tricky sometimes. So. Uh, the next thing is the add to cart button here. Now I could, take that, I could take an add to cart button that I have previously done for this specific product, uh, but this button I want to be bigger, so I'm just going to create it again. Once you have the button in here, which is the default part of the template, you can click on design or interactions. When you click on the interactions, then you can see you can you can basically tell Replo what should happen when you click on the button. And in this case, we want to add to cart and potentially even go to checkout right away. So that is what we can basically code in here without actually coding. We can tell it the functionality. You can also use, use what happens if you mouse over it and you can also create a hover effect, but that's under the design, that's not under interaction, right? So, but you can create an animation, whatever you want. So uh, on click, you have different functionalities. As I said, you can redirect, you can add, add product to cart, which is one we'll, we'll be using, but there are tons of different things you can change in here. So just super easy, and that's what makes Replo a good template and landing page builder. Um, so adding that in there, so that makes it easier. Um, but there's so many options. Again, you can just pick whatever you want. So I'm just going to skip through here because I already told you everything. Uh, mouse over, again, not going to be needed here. So what we're doing now is we're adding in product variants, which is what I really wanted to talk to you about here. So how do you find product variants. So let's say we have this product in different colors or whatever. You go under components again and you just type in product variants and you can see product variant image, product variant list, uh, product variant drop down, right? And usually you will want to use a drop down, um, but everything applies depending on what you what you're selling, right? So in this case we're using a variant drop down and when we have a drop down we can show the different sizes, you know, small, medium, large, extra large, and all that stuff. And that's really important because otherwise nobody will buy anything. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the different sizes, and you can even see the color as well. So in most cases, what you would do is you would do one for sizing and you would do one for color, and then you would assign a skew to every single one of them because, yeah, that's how you want to do it if you actually want people to buy the right product. Uh, so that's how we were going to set things up. But... Um, this is just a simple way of doing it. Uh, as, as I said as well, I also really want to highlight that you can add details and how to use, and you can hide that information, and you can detail that information more. Um, and the way you do that is this was already done, so it comes with that component in there. You're going under tabs and menu, and then you add in your container and everything, right? So here is how you do that. You go under tabs, you go under blocks, and you have your container one, container two and here you actually have information inside. So uh, I could add three or four different ones if I wanted to have, you know, let's say uh, one that says sustainability or one, you know, could just be demo, whatever it might be, or it could be um, a fabric, com fabric or whatever we might be using to explain what fabric is inside of the shirt. You can add as many containers as you want in here in order to make it a little bit more uh, unique. But yeah, guys, that's how you add in these things. You can just copy paste them. And then inside of that, there will be a content container. And in that, in that content container, you can write anything you want. But we never recommend that you have way too much content. Uh, oh, the birds are singing here in the background in my office. But um, um, you never want to have too much content on your page. So here you want to make sure you can save it behind uh, some of these uh, titles here. And as I, as I showed you, I just did a small black here which uh, is an easy way but what I really want to do is 
you duplicate this and you add in one for color and one for size and that so and for colors you can do um a drop down uh, and then make it uh, horizontal instead so you can pick any color and then you just put the colors and for size usually a drop down works really bad good so that would be the same as what you see here